Welcome back to Detroit. Uh, I basically am going to take whatever I did in the demo into account, and that's going to be what it is. So, this is after the demo, I guess. We got Connor. Model 8X400, serial number 5. I cannot read fast enough. But I can see in real time because I am this is the top of the range robot. Assistant. It cooks ten thousand different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Two hundred languages and dialects, and handles the kids' homework. Elementary school up to university. Pre-owned Z T two hundred from seventeen ninety nine. This is exactly what we need. How much huh. did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range. At seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine dollars, with a forty-eight months interest-free credit, and it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow guess, me, we'll guess, process the. Guess they bought. They bought the Android. The MP eight hundred is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along, and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. So oh it's no, it's this guy. It back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Register your name. Hello, Dan. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh, it's, it's something about it's something about Kara that makes me very, very uncomfortable. Welcome to Detroit. Look at all these pre-rendered. <laughs> ah, Mr. Krabs. Clancy Brown's in it. Oh no, it's Surtur now, I guess. Drones. So, I did play a little bit of it for, uh, for a stream. But we're starting from after, after the demos, after Connor's little escapade. Saving the kid by shooting that man. Well, that man, I mean, that uh, that deviant android. I love the idea of, like, a modern city, like, where robots do all the, all the, all the hard work and stuff, but then there are people, like, selling hot dogs and shit. I lost my job because of androids. Help me. I guess we're seeing things through um, through Kara's eyes at the start. Great. Boo! Boo this man. Come on. Boo! Hiss. Sure. <laughs> November 5th, 2038. 9.38 a.m. I will not con consistently do robot voice. Oh, that's nice. Would you like to go home now? Yes. I guess my first... Yep, so the first one you play as is Marcus. Oh, thank you, dear. Nice. Go to Belenny's paint shop, but first let's read Tech Attic. You can reread discovered articles in the extra section. The secrets of androids. How Cyberlife designed its androids to coexist with humans. VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. Designing Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge Cyberlife had to overcome. 
Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at CyberLife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interviews. Uh, hang on, I gotta put like a nerd voice. <clears throat> Uh, the first androids were perfect. They they had like perfect faces, like perfect expressions, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about it that made people feel uncomfortable. Oh, Cyberlife worked its way to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and be member, become members of our new families. Of our new family, of our families. They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, uh, though unnecessary, although with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This, perf this perfect simulation of humanity, down to the details that androids simply don't need, is the secret of CyberLife's de design success. Green Earth, climate change up, how the environment is changing America's society. Miami to heighten seawall by further 10 meters. Man, 30, what, 20, 20 years in the future, we're all gonna die. A reveal, a recent US Senate census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change le uh, leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate in once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flights where, with wealthy residents opting for p properties further inland and or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for the poor Rare, poorer Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climatic weather. They're also suffering from urban flight with all the services and amenities following rich, richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters called this the donut effect whereby the previous centers of coastal cities get hollowed out. The census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American society in ways previously not imagined, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. Ew. Oh, I see. So now, obviously, this, this is like the, um, this is the thing, like the detective mode. I've already actually played through this chapter because it's not really much, but oh, the, this is like one of the best things. Because you're an android, you're not allowed to break protocol by going into like the wrong places. Hey, water. Android sport partner. Treat your android better. Terrible person. Ban androids. Androids ruin our country. I'm trying to see what it says. We want jobs. And it's just perfect. I can't go past here. Because my protocol wouldn't allow it. Look. Eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. Oh, well, this is nothing. Perfect. Wait for green light. Red. Red flower. Lovely. Green light. Let's go. This is the GPS. 
It's the paint shop. Oh shit. Is isn't that is that man a bit too old? What is hmm. Hello hot dog seller and pretzel man. Hey, move it. You're scaring away my customers. Not doing shit. Human music, one doll to hear, music with soul. A really good tune. I guess it's just normal, like this is just a song. Without cause. What? God will not let this happen. No, he will not allow his creation to be led astray by these these artificial demons. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. You've got very perfect teeth, man. My brethren, man, Marcus just wants Marcus just like we Okay, I guess I have to go to the painting. I can't run. This is the annoying thing. Like, I can't run. Ooh. Films? Jesus Christ. After Mankind, Anna Maverick and the Lost Kings. Invasion. Marcus, move. Rackin. Target. This is really weird, like, like the, the sudden snap. Whew. Oh, it's two dudes. How progressive. Alright, I know that's the paint store, but I want to explore. Can't give you anything even if I want it. I couldn't give you anything even if I wanted to, man. Open. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Did you buy Please confirm payment? <laughs> Did you buy the budget budget account like the budget Android man? Because he has no facial expressions whatsoever. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Thanks, Ron Weasley. I've got to take the bus home. I 
I wonder who did it. Yeah, touch base, nothing. I wonder if there's any other optional shit I can do. People are making a lot of noises. That commotion. Ladies and gentlemen, are meant to serve us. Yeah. Not. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? I can probably just avoid them, can I? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Come on, man. This motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. This is unnecessary. I can stand up. You break it, you, you break it, you buy it. You break it, you buy it. Come on. You go anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass off. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. We can take your job next. Let me see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Move along? I wasn't doing anything. Androids are stealing our jobs. Yeah. We've got families to feed and these Oh, there's a thing there. Yeah. L1. Machines. Ladies and gentlemen, are meant to serve us. Yeah. Not to replace yeah. us. What does it say? No entry for purchased androids. Cool. I'll go take my fucking bus then. It's a shit looking bus. Enter. It's very intuitive to use my the left stick to enter. That, that one on the right looks like Zac Efron. A little. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Just a little, right? So I can prob I can probably like not stare at hot dog vendor and so I guess if you stare longer something else might happen. Sure. Sure I guess. <laughs>